What's up, guys? This is Dark Blue. Tales of Arise is the latest game of Tales series, the only one in this series with modern production, and perhaps the first Tales game you have played. However, the combat system of Tales of Arise seems to have been criticized a lot. Now my question is, can it be somehow saved? In this video, let me share with you my thoughts. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's begin. Well, now you may wonder, why does it need to be saved? So let me first explain the combat of Tales of Arise. In short, Tales of Arise is a typical JRPG, except it's combat. In combat, it's not turn-based but real-time. Every character can equip 6 arts, and they are used instantly after you press the corresponding instruction. Compared to typical ARPG, Tales of Arise is closer to FTG games. In this game, the count of hates is very important. More concretely, there is another way to kill an enemy besides clearing his health bar. There is an execution bar which is filled by chaining different attacks and reach higher hits. And when it's filled completely, you can execute that enemy no matter how much health he has left. As you can see, this game encourages its players to attack as aggressively as possible. So there have to be some mechanics to protect you from being interrupted by enemies attack. And that should be break and boost break. Break is the basic way to stagger enemy. There is a hidden staggering bar which is filled by every attack landed on that enemy. And when it's filled, he enters break status when every attack can stagger him. And boost break is an additional mechanic. Some enemies can do certain moves like flying, casting, or charging. And when they are doing this, you can use the boost attack of a certain team member to interrupt their move and stun them. Well, based on the information I have shown you so far, you may feel well. The combat of Tales of Rise is fine. This game encourages to do combo, and it of course provides break and boost break to enable a safe environment to do combo. So this is fine. Now time for however. However, enemy design somehow conflicts with this combat design. You will actually encounter two types of enemies in Tales of Arise. The first type, common enemies, have every mechanic I've talked about so far. But the second type, bosses and giant monsters, have two mechanics lost. They cannot be directly executed. The only way to kill them is doing enough damage to empty their HP. And they cannot be broken. They can only be boost broken. Therefore, fights against bosses and giant monsters are much more boring than against common enemies and of course much more difficult. And to make things even worse, there are many many giant monsters in late game dungeons. Now, to be precise, the problem comes from not combat mechanics, but enemy design. But it's still a problem, and I'm here trying to solve it. Just as I said, giant monsters are common in late game, but rarer earlier. So my experience in early game was actually enjoyable. During my first play, although there wasn't much that I can do with only two team members in Fire Country, this game became more interesting in Light Country and Earth Country as more characters joined my team. Doing combo and executing is really a joy. But things began to go wrong in one country as giant monsters start to appear here. When facing them, my only choice was using Raining Slash again and again. And not, it's not only boring but very dangerous. I used a lot of consumables and always ran out of resources when only halfway completing the dungeon. Actually, the only thing keeping me from abandoning this game was I wanted to see more about the story. All in all, my experience during first play was to some extent terrible. Now we have enough complaints and time for some solutions. As I have said, the problem is bosses and giant monsters cannot be broken, but they can still be boost broken. And although almost every boost attack can only work when enemies do certain moves, the boost attack of Elfin can work on any condition. And this is where I find the solution. If it's possible to recharge Elfin's boost attack fast enough, 
I will be able to stun lock enemies using boost break. And it is possible. Last time I played Tales of Arise, I found this strategy after completing the campaign, and I thought that was the ultimate solution in this game, so I stopped playing Tales of Arise. But recently, as someone has shown certain suspects about if I'm really expert in Tales of Arise, I decided to play it again. This time, I noticed the one shortcoming of that constant boost break strategy. It is feasible only after completing campaign and it requires you to buy one DLC. And during campaign, I have to find some other solutions. I do this by looking at two things that I didn't do well in my first play. One is I was controlling Elfin all the time and didn't play other characters until endgame. The other is I overlooked accessory and never tried to craft them until endgame. By dealing with these two weaknesses during my second play, I succeeded in finding a way to make combat much easier even before endgame. Of course you can still say this is only a way to make combat easier, but not any solution to actually save it. But at least I can help you have a good and relaxing time playing Tales of Arise, instead of painful. That's what makes my video meaningful. Following this video, I will make a video series to show you my thorough walkthrough, and you will find it really easy to beat Tales of Arise. If you like my story and if you want to join me into depth of games, just like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you around.